Hey. So the kids are playing war right now, right? With the three cards, with the three of them, they're playing war. Um, and let me tell you what my son asked me yesterday. I was, we were talking about Pokemon cards because he wants to buy Pokemon. He has some money that he's from selling his books and from allowance, and he wants to buy either Pokemon cards or this other series of books, right? He's like, ooh, once I have, I think I want to get all the books, because once I get the whole series of books, then I'll use whatever money I, I make after that for Pokemon cards, because I want to keep getting Pokemon cards. I was like, Pike, by then you're probably going to want to buy something else. And he's like, what? what? And I'm like, yeah, man, there's always something you want to buy. There's always going to be something you want to buy. And then he said this. He thought about it for a second. He said, well, Daddy, can you buy money? And I was like, oh, <laughs> it has come to this, my son. And I was like, well, it's funny you say that because Daddy talks about that a lot whenever I'm on the videos and webinars and things like that. That's kind of what I'm talking about. It's like, what do you mean? I said, well, here's how you can buy money. I was like, a bank buys money. They say, for example, hey, you put a hundred, you give us a hundred dollars, and at the end of the year, we'll give you a hundred and five dollars. And he's like, five dollars? The whole year? Right? And I said, well, yes, actually, but let's con continue. And so they basically are buying someone's a hundred dollars for a hundred and five. You know, well, why would you do that? And I said, because then they sell that hundred dollars to somebody else because that's, and they charge them $120. What? That's right. So they pay a hundred. And so at the end of the year, they pay you 105, but he's like, they get 120. So they get to keep the $15. And I'm like, yes. And his mind was blown. And I gotta be honest with you. I hadn't put it that simply before, right? Like, Thankfully, he asked me. I had to think of how to make it so simple. And I was like, oh, man, I wish I had someone had told me that so simply. But the other thing I realized I would have thought was like, wow, fucking banks, you know. But you can do the same thing, really. Um, and it's kind of what we do now. When I tell you guys that you should be buying and selling digital products, I mean, like, I don't know why a lot of you refuse the selling part. Um, or, or advertising is also buying money, right? You pay for a certain amount of ads and, um, you know, you're assuming, you're hoping that those sales will come out. Um, and what I keep telling you guys is that the main thing to buy is building your list. That's the, that's the thing you put your money in. Building your list so you can sell stuff. So, for example, right now I'm promoting um, IPS, very cool system. I have a good review of it. People like it. The training in it is excellent. It's a marketing course, right? Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, well, maybe I'll edit this out, but um, you can buy, so let me start that over. Hey, I just, I just said the name of something I didn't want to say it, so let me just make it plain so anybody can watch this. Your opportunity or whatever it is you're selling, it's likely that you can be an affiliate for it, right? Because just about anything that you can buy online as, online as a customer, you can probably sell as an affiliate. So generally speaking, you can, you know, buy something for 150 and probably get 100 bucks or so for it. That's one way to do it. You could also buy something for 3500 and earn 3000 every time, right? So isn't that a good use? Isn't that a good way to buy money? Buying money by buying something and selling it. You know, the buy low, sell high. So the bank buys it for 105 and they sell it for 120. Easy, right? You can do the same thing and with the new affiliate digital product, um, you know, system, not system, the uh, model that's out there, it's much easier than it ever has been. I mean, I was talking to somebody who, who used to own a very large company and their new company isn't doing so well. And I could not, I was like, 
they were saying, oh, we're trying to sell merch because, you know, everybody on TikTok sells merch or whatever. And I'm like, nah, man, why would you buy a mug for $5 hoping to sell it for seven over and over? That's terrible. Buy, buy something one time for $5,000 and be able to sell it for $4,500 over and over. That's without buying it again. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so that's how you buy money. Right, how you can buy money right now. Right now, you can do that. I'm sure I have some link around here somewhere for many options of that. Okay? All right, talk to you soon. Bye.